Hey my cookies! Listen, I hope y'all not on the diet because today we're making spinach and artichoke dip and it is delicious. So let's get the cooking. First things first, in our cast iron skillet, this is what I'm using throughout the whole tutorial. I'm just melting some butter in here. Here are my roughly chopped artichoke hearts that we're gonna add into that butter now. I'm using marinated artichoke hearts. Not the kind in the can, but they come in a little jar. And I just prefer the flavor of these better. So we're gonna saute them for two minutes in that butter. Now adding in a little garlic and keep it moving. Do not let my garlic burn. Keep that heat at like a medium setting. The base for my dip will be an alfredo sauce. So that's what I'm making now. Adding in some heavy cream. Now bring it up to a simmer. Gotta have that onion and garlic powder. Check the link in the description for the full recipe and measurement. And now some softened cream cheese. Just stir it in there and kind of chop it up so that it melts evenly throughout our Alfredo sauce mixture. It's gonna make it so creamy. Don't skip this step. I'm adding in some chicken broth. I'm using chicken base and water. That's why it looks a little thick, but don't skip that. Adds amazing, amazing flavor. Y'all, I had to do this. I had to do this. Y'all know me. I'm just sprinkling in a little bit of Cajun seasoning. I couldn't just rely on salt and pepper. Y'all know how I roll. Now it's time for the cheese. If at all possible, please ma'am, please sir, use fresh cheese. I have fresh mozzarella and fresh parmesan. I just buy the blocks and I grate them and shred them myself because fresh cheese has all of that moisture that the dry pre-packaged cheeses don't. So if possible, please just grate it and shred it yourself. You'll see a huge difference in the taste as well as the melting. All right, my cheese rant is over. So just add it in and mix it well. And also at this point, you want to taste it and just make sure that the seasonings are on point. And finally, our spinach. I'm using frozen spinach that I've thawed and squeezed well to get all of the water out. I just put it into a paper towel and squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it until it's... Make sure you stir it well and get that spinach evenly distributed. It's about that time to bake. My cast iron skillet, of course, can be placed in my oven safely, but if your skillet can't, make sure you transfer this dip over to an oven safe dish. And preheat your oven to 400 degrees. Now let's sprinkle on some more cheese. Of course, you know we gotta do it. Don't be stingy, grate that cheese. That's what we bought it for. Now let's slide this baby in the oven uncovered for about 20 to 25 minutes. And my dipping tool of the day will be this baguette that I am gonna pop in the oven. I just sliced it up a little bit and adding on some Italian herbs, some thyme, rosemary, all that good stuff with some olive oil. And we're gonna bake that for about 10 minutes with my dip. If you're on a diet, you're gonna have to work extra hard in the gym after this, but it is worth it. It's delicious. Make sure you let it cool. Look at it bubbling. Look, good God. <laughs> Make sure you let it cool for about 10 minutes before you eat. Thank you for watching, my loves. The recipe link will be in the description box. Look, I can't even get my footage for people stealing. Look, look. Just, just stealing. <laughs> <laughs> but that's just how good this dip is guys. I hope you like it. Hope you enjoy it. Until next time, be blessed.